Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys Secret Base figure preview video. Now before we begin I have to say a massive thank you as always to our resident photographer Ryan Kirkwood for going out in person and snapping these gorgeous high res pics. Show Ryan some love in the comments below because without him this series literally wouldn't be possible. If you are looking to pre-order Peacemaker, he is available from toyswonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below. They have 12 month installment plans and an awesome reward system. Now, just like an episode of Peacemaker, this episode of Figure Preview is going to keep you on your toes. We've got custom head sculpts to discuss and in-person first-hand accounts from the staff at Secret Base that should hopefully answer some of your questions. Nevertheless, I was not expecting to see this guy, at least not as soon as we now have. I thought Hot Toys were going to hold out maybe for a season two, but here he is. Now before we get down to brass tacks and discuss the things that maybe aren't so perfect, let's just take a moment to appreciate that we have a character as wacky as Peacemaker and now we have a 1-6 scale figure of him. Don't worry though, we will be discussing the good and the bad points of this figure throughout the course of the video. Now of course, as you would expect, he does come with an array of hands. I was expecting him, if you'd asked me prior to this announcement, if you were going to get a Peacemaker, what would he come with? I would have said the shield, easily, because it was awesome in the final episode, a couple of helmets, an unhelmeted head sculpt, and maybe even Goff, the butterfly in a jar. But unfortunately, we didn't really get any of that. This guy is a relatively bare bones release. At the very least, Ryan can attest to this, the helmet chrome paint applications look way better in person, and his pics do show it fairly well. It's nice and vibrant, while in the promo pics it looked very, very dull. So who knows, will it come out more like the promo pics when we get the final product, or did they purposefully make it look a little bit more hazy so the photographer wasn't visible in the reflection of the helmet? Who knows, either way, it looks better in person. You do, of course, get eagerly. I'm not a huge fan of the pose with his wings out, but you can switch them between the wings spread out and the closed wings. I honestly am super happy that we are getting eagerly. I loved him in the show. The CGI was really good, and in figure format, he looks decent. Would I have liked some more articulation? Maybe even some wings that would allow him to hug Peacemaker? Yes and yes, the icing on the cake would have been a little perch for him to sit on, because while he did walk around on the ground in the show, it would have been a nice way of doing him justice to give him his own mini display base, or even a way to have him posed flying above Peacemaker. I'm still glad he's included, but I reckon another company will come out with an even better version of Eagly. As for the display base, I love it. It's a rusted out American flag, Peacemaker on top, and on the nameplate, no complaints for me. It's simple, yet very effective. Now moving up to Peacemaker's outfit, it does look like these are fixed, solid, sculpted boots. And they're very, very clean. That was one thing I noticed about his entire outfit. It pretty much is pristine and brand new. And with the expression he comes with, I think a battle damaged version would have gone very nicely. And for the standard version, they could have done a more neutral expression. The outfit itself looks great though. All the details are there, it looks accurate, the blue pleather sections that are kind of ribbed on the sides of his legs, it all looks awesome. However, it is super crisp and clean. You could argue that this is the brand new suit he got after the events of Suicide Squad, and yeah, I'm right there with you, that would make perfect sense. But just a little bit of surface weathering wouldn't have gone astray. Now, Ryan did ask the staff at Secret Base the big question that we are all wanting to know the answer to, does his peacemaker, his silver desert eagle, come out of the holster? Initially they said yes, absolutely, it comes out, no problem. And then after the staff member told Ryan that, he went off and spoke to someone, then came back and said, actually, 
I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see for the final product. I'm going to take his first answer as the actual answer, because how could you not have Peacemaker holding his Peacemaker? Even the Prime 1 statue didn't show him holding it, but it does come with it and you can remove it from the holster to get him to actually point it with his arms stretched out. So I'm going to assume the same thing can be done with this Hot Toys figure until they clarify otherwise. He does come with two magazines on his belt and a silencer that, once again, I am assuming you'll be able to attach to the front of his gun. Worst case scenario, he does still come with a trigger finger hand so we can source our own gun. But I'm still under the assumption that this one is going to be able to be removed. One really good thing about this figure is that his outfit is entirely fabric. I would have thought they were going to go with rubber for the upper torso, but they didn't. It's just regular soft red fabric. That is a very good thing. We can go crazy with the posing and not have to worry about creasing or damage. And the same thing can be said for the elbows. Now, yes, they are very unsightly. Ryan even did say they look worse in person. But in certain poses, you're going to be able to get away with it. Just like you can with the Hot Toys Wolverine and the Hot Toys Bane. I'm pretty sure, by the way, that this guy is using the Bane body. At the very least, and I know I've said that a few times now, but you probably will be able to take the outfit off. Some sewing may indeed be required, but you could replace the body with your own. Maybe an M34 or M35. That could work quite well. But for now, yes. Single jointed elbows, and they aren't seamless. The gloves do look great, though. They're Big, and they are slightly glossy, so they do look quite leathery. There is also a texture on the surface. They're a two-piece design, just like I was hoping for with the boots, but that means the hand is separate from the gauntlet. He does also come with the sword and hatchet that we saw in Suicide Squad. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that we saw either of these weapons in the series. I could be misremembering, but I'm fairly certain he just used firearms. I would have loved to have seen the P90 that Harcourt etched the symbol of peace onto. It would have been a very nice and classy accessory. You can see they are showing off the trigger finger hand with the hatchet in tow. Not the best hand to use with this weapon, but I am glad he comes with it. Of course, when Bloodsport and Peacemaker were having their kill-off in Suicide Squad, they did use various weapons, and that was definitely one of them. Now, the head sculpt is the biggest point of contention for a lot of people. It's a very wacky expression, and yes, Peacemaker from time to time is known to make an expression kind of like this. They also give you a magnetic tongue that you can pop in the mouth and move from side to side to make it even more wacky. I'm all for a crazy head sculpt, but in my opinion, he should have also come with a neutral expression. Which leads me on to one of my favourite head sculpt producers, Vince aka V. Collectibles. I've reviewed a ton of his work on the channel, and I will be reviewing his Peacemaker head sculpt, and of course, when this figure comes out, I will pop this head sculpt on it. Which head sculpt am I talking about? Well, the one on the left, the unhelmeted, stoic, mean John Cena sculpt, and I think it looks awesome. V. Collectibles work ranges from great too uncanny, and I reckon this one might just be the latter. The skin texture, the paint applications, and also the mini bust, which I will be reviewing as well. I am so excited to get this, it might just be one of the best John Cena head sculpts that I have ever seen. But the reason I'm showing this to you is to say that there will be alternatives. Companies like SoSo Toys and the like, I'm sure will be making accessory packs and various different parts and pieces because Hot Toys left a lot of meat on the bone. No one helmeted head sculpt, you only get two different helmet options. I would have loved to have seen the X-ray version and maybe even a bunch of other helmets, who knows? But nevertheless, there is stuff that I'm sure these companies are working on. V. Collectibles is the one who made this head sculpt and I'll pop his Instagram link down in the description below. 
but definitely stay tuned, I'll be reviewing this head sculpt sooner rather than later. Now back to the Hot Toys one. As you can see, yeah, that expression is full on. You can see his mouth is wide open and his eyes are off to one side. The helmet does look way shinier, the way it reflects the light at Secret Base versus the promo pics. Overall, I'm okay with it, but I am curious to see what these third party companies will cook up to improve this figure. Again, I'm totally fine with an expression like this, but for a character in a show that was number one in the world when it was streaming, I think you do need to do him justice, either with an unmasked head sculpt or a stoic expression that absolutely screams John Cena. I'm still super excited to get this, and you bet I'll be reviewing it as soon as it comes out, but there are a few things that I find rather questionable. Let me know what you think of Peacemaker by all means in the comments below. If you are looking to pre-order him, the link for that is in the description to head over to toyswonderland.com. They have 12 month installment plans and an awesome reward system. While you're down there, check out the link to Six Scale Network, the Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection, and of course, see what's coming up next on the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.